Hey everyone, it's Victoria with Nutrition by Victoria. I have a Master's of Science in Human Nutrition and I help you build a high functioning metabolism so that you can get and stay effortlessly slim, lean, fit, and healthy while eating unlimited carbohydrates. So <laughs> I was just watching the snake diet guy <laughs> um, because somebody in the comments said that he had mentioned me in one of his videos so I went to his content and I was like oh my gosh I don't know what this guy was doing prior but all of his latest content is about eating a high carb low fat diet for weight loss so that was really exciting to see uh, somebody with such a huge following um, recommending a high carb low fat diet. I actually think that a lot of people are starting to put the pieces together that have big followings um, and recommending now a high carb low fat diet because this is how our metabolism prefers to run. It prefers to run on glucose. We are designed to eat. We are designed to eat high carb low fat foods. <laughs> we are designed to eat a lot of calories. So all these people promoting keto carnivore that is old news. No one wants to starve, and that's what those diets are. When, like Bart K, for example, I actually got into it with Bart K in his comments on his reaction video to the snake guy um, because I said, Oh, the snake guy, it sounds like he's been following my advice. And then Bart um, insulted me, as he does <laughs> anybody who disagrees with him. And then I went into asking for his credentials, which I couldn't find anywhere. So he's a self-proclaimed nutrition professor <clears throat> with no credentials that I could find on the internet. Um, apparently published a few research papers, but otherwise, Bart <clears throat> was not so lean not that long ago, then went on the keto diet and now is selling supplements associated with being on the keto diet, carnivore diet, and shows that all he eats is <clears throat> steak and butter, like, and it's a calorie insufficient diet. He recently had a guy on actually that um, he interviewed that ran five marathons in five days with zero food and that he spent time prior becoming fat adapted and <laughs> This guy, he said his time for the marathon was like a um, four mile an hour pace, which is like a walking pace. <laughs> so like, what are they trying to prove that you can survive on a keto diet at, at what cost to your body? You know, like top marathoners run the marathon in two hours and that is carbohydrate fueled. What is going to get you to your destination faster? Starving yourself or eating carbohydrates? I think the reason why athletes eat a high carb, low fat diet is because carbohydrates build their glycogen stores, gives them energy in order to perform. There is zero top athletes that are eating a keto diet because it is simply starvation. All you're doing is harnessing the body's starvation biomechanics in order to stay alive because you've either forced a glucose deprived state or you're actually in a glucose deprived state and your body wants to keep you alive. So it does and it tries really hard until eventually you have to change something because your thyroid hormone production is tanked, your sex hormone production is tanked, there is so many problems associated with starving yourself, so don't do it. Actually, you know, if you really want to know the secret to human nutrition, you look to mother's breast milk. And what is breast milk predominantly comprised of? That is sugar and water. Of course, it has all this other wonderful, magical nutrition that's included there. But if you taste breast milk, it tastes sweet and hydrating, just like sugar water. As humans, our desire is for sweet. I'm actually, I've started feeding my six month old here and he desires fruits and starches. His favorites are banana, pears, apples, um, and sweet potato and rice cereal.
and he likes blueberries too. Okay, that's it for today's video. A little bit of ramble, a little bit of a rant. Um, yeah, so the snake diet guy, he's very vulgar and kind of comes off as like a, a military like coach type persona. Um, but I love to see that he is spreading the right message. I wonder if he's been watching my videos <laughs> um, because, you know, I love uh, all the comments and questions that I've been getting. I have a really hard time keeping up with it all. So if you want my coaching, please click the link in the description of this video and it'll take you to my coaching page. I am extremely busy in my real life. So if you really want my help, please sign up for one of my coaching services. Um, yeah, so hopefully we can grow this channel. So please, so please like and um, share this video, subscribe to my channel so that we can share the true message of human nutrition and metabolism and how it works. Get rid of this whole keto um, movement uh, so people can start being healthy, okay? Because insulin sensitivity is where it's at. And what are the primary factors for becoming insulin sensitive? It's making sure you're eating a lot of carbohydrates, keeping your diet low in fat, and avoiding starvation diets, okay? Avoiding fasting, avoiding not eating enough. Um, because both a high fat diet and under eating carbohydrates program the body for insulin resistance. So we wanna stay away from that. All right, leave any comments or questions down below and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Who's buddy? Who's buddy? Who's buddy? Who's buddy? Who's buddy? Who's buddy?